Mayfair School and Community. During Saskatoon's first boom period, the value of education was grandly expressed through the construction of large and elaborate school buildings. The spring of 1912 was prosperous in Saskatoon, and in the face of continued economic and population growth, Saskatoon officials considered the city's future educational needs. This June 18, 1913 Daily Star article begins appropriately foreshadowing the long history of the institution under construction. They say, a decision of vast importance to the 1913 educational advancement of Saskatoon may be reached at tomorrow afternoon's meeting of the Board of School Trustees. It is that the trustees may definitely decide to build the Mayfair School this year. Construction did indeed begin on the Mayfair School in 1913. However, when the financial boom abruptly collapsed just before the onset of the First World War, construction had to be postponed, leaving the project with little more than a brick basement laid. This thwarted the expectation outlined in this article that the new building would be ready for occupancy by September 1, 1914. A temporary school was built on the site, and construction on the permanent building was not resumed until 1920, after the Great War. According to the City Henderson's directory, Bradley H. Smith was the janitor at Mayfair School during those early years. Shown here is a view of Mr. and Mrs. Bradley H. Smith posed at the front door of their small one-story frame house located at 1237 Avenue F North. By 1919, the student population had outgrown the temporary framed buildings that had been constructed on the site, and it became obvious that the construction of a permanent structure would need to resume. The permanent Mayfair School was finally completed in 1920, with 303 students enrolled as of December 20, 1920. Shown here is a page out of the Saskatoon Collegiate Institute yearbook, The Hermes, celebrating the new Mayfair School from the perspective of the three high school classes that were housed there for a time in the early 1920s. This passage boasts that, although separated from the larger student body, we are quite alive over here, and during the past term, the Mayfair boys and girls have had more wholesome fun and enjoyment than the remainder of the collegiate combined, in addition to making a commendable standing in their classwork. The newly built Mayfair School was one of the last of the large and elaborate schools to be built in Saskatoon. More cost-effective single-story schools were the norm by the 1940s, following the Winnipeg school system's example. Here we see the school again eight years later in 1928, with a bit more landscaping. Here we see an exterior oblique view of the Mayfair Public School, with young trees and other landscaping. At the left of the image, a portion of the Ideal Grocery Store is visible. This image was taken around the mid-1930s. As the city's population grew, so did the Mayfair School. In 1952, an addition of four classrooms and an auditorium was completed. In 1958 and 59, still more classrooms were added. Further additions were completed in 1981. Here we see a photograph of some of the young students of Mayfair School taken shortly after the completion of the new building. Students are arranged on the broad front steps. At the start of the school day or at the end of recess time, girls would line up on one side of these steps and boys on the other when filing into the building. This 1926 photograph shows a broader view of the over 300 student and staff members belonging to Mayfair School. In 
Shown here is a panorama of the school pageant in 1927, which was put together for Canada's Diamond Jubilee. 6,000 school children assembled at the racetracks at the exhibition grounds. Clothing or banners were used to spell out the word Canada. Mayfair School is represented at the left. Racing stables and Nutana rail yards can be seen in the background. Shown here is a group of the six original staff members who attended the 1969 50th anniversary of Mayfair School. Left to right we see Mrs. Grace Kahn, Mrs. Grace McMaster, Miss Laura Keynes, and standing Mrs. Ruby Fisher, Mrs. Mary Parrott, and Miss Grace Morell. Children likely attending Mayfair School study while other patrons browse books in the Mayfair branch of the Saskatoon Public Library, which was, in 1964, located in the lower level of the Mayfair Community Hall. Here, students from Mayfair School participate in a two-day arts festival alongside other students from public and separate schools across the city. Here we see students from Mayfair School participating in Habitat for Humanity's Penny Project, which was created to help a Saskatoon family build a new home in the city. Mayfair School has been a hub of community activity through the years, and any discussion of the school should also include a bit of history about the community of Mayfair itself. One of the oldest subdivisions of Saskatoon, Mayfair was originally developed in the late 1800s and early 1900s as a separate community. 1907 was the first time Mayfair was acknowledged on a formal map, with 60 residences being built in the area by 1909. In 1912, the city of Saskatoon annexed Mayfair, and while development was steady in the area after the First World War, it didn't experience its first real boom until the years between 1946 and 1960. The Mayfair Football or Soccer Club often used the Mayfair School for training exercises. The Mayfair Poultry Breeders Association also used the space for lectures, with the understanding that any killing of birds was to be done in the basement. Bible classes were also held in the school, as were St. John's Ambulance lectures held for the public. Shown here is an outdoor group portrait of the Mayfair Lawn Bowling Club in 1928. The club was begun in 1925, making it one of the oldest athletic clubs in the city. The club was formed by early Saskatoon settlers of English, Irish, Scottish, and Welsh ancestry. It began operation as a men's club, and a few years later a women's section was begun, but they were permitted to bowl only in the afternoon. Funds were raised for a new clubhouse in the late 1920s. Originally, the North Green was installed, however, with the increase in membership, which peaked at 125 people in 1929, a second green was required. Ditches and bank boards replaced string around the greens in 1956. Through a grant from the government of Saskatchewan, matched by the city of Saskatoon, a new clubhouse with attached equipment shed was built and officially opened in 1982. More recently, a prefabricated tool shed has been installed to house bowling and greens equipment. One spot that has always been popular with the children who attend the Mayfair School is the Mayfair Swimming Pool, which first opened on the 4th of July, 1959. Here is a postcard showing a bird's eye view of the Mayfair Swimming Pool facing southeast. Shown here is the view looking east on 33rd Street. You can see the J&L Market on the corner, and in the distance, the Canada Safeway. In the middle is the Mayfair United Church, which was another hub of community activity. The Mayfair United Church unfortunately suffered total destruction by fire on May 26, 1958. 
A grand A-frame building was built on the site, opening in October 1960. Unfortunately, this building too was destined to be destroyed in April 1991 by arson. A third iteration of the Mayfair United Church now exists at 902 33rd Street West. Mayfair had its own line as part of Saskatoon's municipal railway system, established in 1913. This line ran from the Mayfair neighborhood all the way across the river to the young University of Saskatchewan. On February 4, 1947, the Mayfair University streetcar lost control, careening down the Avenue E hill. The streetcar failed to negotiate the curb at 25th Street and Avenue E, left the tracks, crossed the boulevard, and came to rest in the front yard of 419 25th Street West. It was a wild ride for the more than 50 passengers. However, no one was seriously injured. An inquiry determined that the brakes had failed because the fuse protecting the compressor motor had blown. This image depicts car 57 of the Saskatoon Municipal Railway decorated for its last run on the 10th of November 1951. On the left is transit driver John Mack and at right Mike Kardash, the car's operator. Continuing with our tour of the Mayfair area through time, here we see Goffman's store at Avenue F and 33rd Street. This was a grocery store operated for many years by Jacob J. Goffman. Jumping ahead a few decades, we see 23rd Street East facing east from Avenue A North intersection towards the underpass. Shown are Mayfair Service Station, Mel's Lunch, and Royal Motors. At the intersection of 33rd Street West and Avenue B North, we see 33rd Street's iconic Dairy Queen store. To the left of the Dairy Queen is the Canadian Imperial Bank of Commerce, and across the street to the right is the Mayfair Cottage Gifts store that was at 201 33rd Street West. One of the most long-lasting and well-known businesses in the Mayfair area is Christie's Mayfair Bakery. Shown here are two photos of members of the Christie staff preparing pies and donuts in 1973. Another important community centre within the Mayfair neighbourhood was the Mayfair Community Hall, which stood at the corner of 33rd Street West and Avenue F North. The Mayfair branch of the Saskatoon Public Library was located in the basement. In this photograph you can see that the library sign is visible. The Saskatoon Public Library was located here starting in 1952, which was the same year that the Community Hall was built. The Community Hall housed the Mayfair branch of the Saskatoon Public Library until 1990. The hall was demolished in 1991, and the new Mayfair Library branch was constructed on that location. Here we see the current Mayfair Library building when it was newly completed in 1991. This was a great improvement from the basement library that had existed in the Mayfair Community Hall at this location prior. This library continues to serve the Mayfair neighborhood to this day. This has been a brief historical tour of the Mayfair School and neighborhood provided by the local history room at the Saskatoon Public Library. If you have any questions about other Saskatoon schools or neighborhoods, feel free to contact us at lhstaff at saskatoonlibrary.ca.